जय श्री कृष्ण श्री वल्लभादी शिखी जय द स्टोरीज ऑफ द एटी फोर वैष्णवस डे सिक्स वार्ता नंबर टू श्री कृष्णदास मैगन की वार्ता प्रसंग चार द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी ऑफ श्री Krishnadas Megan After the path of grace had become established in his heart Krishnadas discussed some of the hidden principles of this path with some Vaishnavas One or two of them complained to Sri Acharya ji that Krishnadas was revealing some of the more esoteric principles in public Sri Acharya ji quizzed him about this Krishnadas suggested that he go to those vaishnavas and ask them exactly what he had said shri acharya ji did so but they were unable to recall what he had said acharya ji smiled and was silent so krishna das megan had un- bhav prakash so krishna das megan had understood the path in his heart and his heart was overflowing with love for the lord He did talk to the Vaishnavas about some of the things he had experienced. However, just as liquid needs to be contained by a vessel, the Vaishnavas were unable to contain the nectarian stories, and so they did not recall what had been said. Krishna Das was not as qualified as Damodar Das Harsani, in as much as he could not stop himself from talking about his experience. one remained silent one spoke out this shows two types of reactions to the experience of shri takuji's bliss part 5 once krishna das asked shri acharya ji what the lord likes he replied that shri takuji likes all lovely things but especially milk he loves the sound of the word His dearest things the indescribable adoration of his devotees and he has known to have great affection for them Next Krishna Das asked Shri Acharya ji what the lord dislikes and his reply was Shri Takuji ji really does not like smoke and anyone who troubles his devotees Bhav Prakash Bhav Prakash is the explanation of the principles from the stories milk represents the purity of the love that the lord and the devotees share whilst the smoke is conflict when loving mood predominates no shri krishna to be present there but know him to be far far away from places of conflict krishna das again asked Why did Lord Bram- Ramachandra grant everyone in his kingdom residence with him in his own abode whilst only granting his only granting his very own father the limited pleasures of heaven Shri Acharya ji responded that Shri Ramachandra ji was most generous for he granted his father not even worthy of ascent to heaven that very goal simply to prove his own word he had sent his son to the forest Bhav Prakash This is a question only someone of limited qualification would ask why would one venture to question the lord's activities and decisions This line of inquiry shows that Krishna Das had not yet achieved the state of innermost heartfelt contemplation and understanding in which everything becomes clear in the heart due to the lord's grace Shri Acharya ji's simple response Lord Ramachandra ji is very compassionate was enough to make him understand Here we see clarification in the principles of the path of grace Sri Ramachandra ji's father for the sake of stubbornly sticking to his word caused much trouble to Sri Ramachandra ji who is actually the upholder of dharma or religious principle Sri Ram ji was most generous and nevertheless granted his father residence in heaven which is mistakenly regarded as a desire desirable reward because it is only a temporary state and not comparable to the reward of devotion which is 
eternal. Part 6 On another occasion, Krishnadas asked Shri Acharya why there are so many devotees who still do not truly realize the Lord's pastimes or do not fully experience the, leel, the bliss of his form. Sri Acharyaji explained that they had not properly and fully surrendered themselves to the Lord. In other words, they had not grasped the concept of surrender. For this entails the giving up of one's entire ego sense and the feelings of I, me and mine, from which comprehension ensues the mindset of being the Lord's servant dependent on him alone and recognising his words to be the ultimate teachings. These are, he explained, the disqualifications of such would-be devotees and the problem is that they do not take the time to associate with accomplished devotees who would be able to set them straight. They think they are worthy of meeting the Lord directly and so he is displeased with them. This path is all about humility and they do not have any. Therefore they fail to recognise the true forms of the Lord, the Guru and the accomplished devotees. Association with such devotees could bring them closer to the Lord and his pastimes. This concept is far away from them and whatever they do, they do not put their heart and soul into it and they are not granted the knowledge that they need. They should seek out qualified and self-realized devotees and constantly read and try to understand the Srimad Bhagavatam. and the Sri Subodhaniji, commentary thereon. Maybe then they could begin to love the Lord from the very bottom of their hearts. The Lord's heart is always with the Raja devotees, the gopis, because they capture him through their pure service and love for him. A striving Vaishnava should seek the company of devotees who strictly follow this path of grace because Sri Taguji lives in their hearts. One example of this is the great devotee Gajan Dhawan. C. Varta number 13, who served the Lord with the purest love and whose every wish the Lord granted. Therefore, it is crucial to contemplate the interactions of such devotees. Furthermore, they should regard devotees who have realized the form of the Lord as part of the spiritual realm and connected to the Lord's pastimes and therefore follow their instructions. Once such a Vaishnava had realized the Lord's form, then everything they do is directed to the Lord. They crave for him at all times. They are aware of all their own faults and constantly analyse their relationship with the Lord. Who am I? Who was I before? After realising my relationship to the Lord, who have I become? What are my duties now? When they begin to ponder such things night and day, then they fully grasp the concept of their relationship to the Lord. The appearance of such understanding is the mood of the Braja devotees, the gopis. This shows the importance of associating with great devotees in order to know the Lord. The Shastras and the Puran are the written scriptures and historical reference. Even they are not able to reveal the Lord's personal form. This can only be known through the, re the association with pure devotees who are the only ones to truly know the ways of serving him. A striving Vaishnava should meet them and inquire about the ways of service. Then true love for the Lord will arise in the heart and his pastimes will be revealed. Part 7 Sri Acharyaji again went to visit Vedvyasti. Vedvyasti. Sri Acharyaji pointed out to him that in the Srimad Bhagavatam 10.47, the account of when Uddhavji was sent to meet the gopis, and their ode to a black bee. There was half a verse missing. Vedvyasji was able to fill in the missing line, and Sri Acharyaji told him the commentary he had already written about that very line. Vedvyasji was extremely gratified to hear the commentary. Thereafter, Sri Acharyaji went to the temple of Badrinaji. That day was Sri Raman Jayanti, the appearance day of Lord Ramandev, which is a fast day for Sri Acharyaji, Ved Vyasji and Krishna Das searched for foodstuffs suitable for a fast day, but they couldn't find anything. 
Lord Badrinath himself came to Sri Acharya and told him that despite his searching for such edibles, he had not found any and that he should cook as usual and offer those preparations to Sri Takaji and accept that prasad afterwards, considering this to be the Lord's own wish. Sri Acharya accepted this situation. Krishna Das had already told Sri Acharya that there were no suitable foodstuffs available and the Lord spoke to Sri Acharya through Vedvyasji as well. He said, Utsavanti Chaparanna. Prashad may be consumed even on a festival day. Sri Acharya offered the usual preparations and they all partook of the prashad. From that day to this, the twelfth day on which Sri Lord Vaman Ji's appearance day falls is not strictly a fast day. Sri Acharya then left that place along with Krishna Das. Bhav Prakash. They could not find any non grain foodstuffs. If Sri Acharya had truly required them, then they would have become available. Neither Krishna Das nor Vedvyasji were able to find any because Sri Acharya had the desire to make the type of offerings usually made on a festival day. He first of all made the point of principle that on fast days no grain should be offered or consumed, but then none was made available, and through Vedvyasji, Sri Takuji himself gave the instruction to cook as normal. Due to this occurrence, Sri Gosaiji and all his seven sons, especially the first son, Sri Giridharji, uphold the principle of fasting on this day, but elsewhere they keep to Utsavante, Chaparanna, and Sri Takuji eats as usual. When Sri Achari, part 8. When Sri Acharyaji left this world, Krishna Das was stu- struck with sore affliction due to separation and he also immediately left his body. Thus concludes Vartha 2, the story of Krishna Das Megan, although it truly has no end. J.J. Shirade.